one more bus this time to a Manohashi Date. Bus is here! And we have arrived. We're here, we did it. Now the reason that people come to this area of Japan is to see the land bridge here and that is right here behind me. It stretches from this side all the way across to the other side and it's a very narrow strip of land. After Tal and I eat our picnic lunch here next to the bay, we're gonna walk across. It takes about an hour or so to get by from here to there and maybe we'll take a dip in the water. Lunch was delicious, sushi was delicious, and right outside this grocery store that we ate at, there is this cable car right here behind me, and this will offer you one perspective of the land bridge, as you can see here, but we're actually going to the other side, and we got that hour walk that I was talking about right now. Here's a little bit of a visual of what we have up ahead of us. Like I said, the land bridge gets you from here all the way over there. So I guess here is technically the start of the land bridge. So here's a pretty good spot where you can see the Sea of Japan, technically the Bay of Miyazu on this side, and the landlocked other bay on this side. Lifeguard towels to the rescue. <laughs> that was such a bad idea. At least it's warm. I don't know if you can see it, but that right there is our destination. Just to prove how wide this land bridge is, we're gonna race to the other side. One, two, three. That's it. What do you think, like 20 meters, 25 meters? That was enough exercise for the day. Well, we got another 45 minute walk. Do I look strong? Yeah. Skinny and strong. There's something in there. This strip of land is littered with shrines and picnic areas and some artifacts, like, I don't even know what this is. Cannon, maybe? Technically, this land bridge doesn't actually go from one side to the other. There is a bridge, an actual bridge, that we have to walk across. I think we're pretty much at the other side now. Oh, there's another bridge. Oh, no, one more bridge. The last bridge, and then we're finally going to the cable car, which is, yes, right up here. Talia's fallen behind because her knee's hurting her. But we're almost at the cable car. The reason we're in such a rush is because we have the train, like I said earlier, to catch at six o'clock. It's five o'clock now, so hopefully we can get up there, down to the station in an hour. $14 to get to the top. That is with the JR Rail Pass discount, which was three, uh, 300 yen off total for two people. All right, here we go. Bye. So it says it takes six minutes to get to the top. Tally is right in there behind me. So they actually have a monorail too that you can take instead of the chairlift and that's running literally right here. I think it's gonna beat us to the top. There's actually no safety harness whatsoever. If I wanted to, I could jump down to the grass. No seatbelt, anything like that. Konnichiwa. Did you look back yet? No. Let's go look. We actually beat the monorail, I was wrong. That's the monorail. You can see it? Wow, that's like... Mm-hmm. If Talia thinks it's cool, it's cool. Full amusement park up here with a Ferris wheel and roller coaster. Wait, I think it's a roller coaster. And they have ice cream, yes! <laughs> No, it's 
What are your first impressions of the land bridge? It's so chic. So chic. It's so cool. I'm surprised like the beaches are like perfect curves or perfect like arches. It's like a doily. A doily. Do you know a doily? Yeah. Apparently the thing to do up here is to stand and look through your legs upside down at the bay. There was in the brochures examples of that and even a cardboard cutout or a wooden cutout where we did that as well. We're gonna try it right now. Don't understand. I don't know what it means. I think this sign actually explains it right here. Stand with your back in the direction of Amono Shiante view. Okay, you're gonna see brilliant colors. The sense of distance is unclear. It will look flat without depth, and the size changes. Oh, wait. Oh, it's a dragon. Here's an example of what it would look like from the camera. What do you guys think? There's a game up top here called pottery throwing, and the point is to take one of these clay plates, actually, make it through the ring right here, and if you do that, you have good luck. <laughs> Somebody's got bad luck. I should have gone this way. I'm going the other way, sorry. I'm oh righty. Oh my gosh. One, mm -hmm. two, three. Oh! oh! So close. So close. And the last glimpse of the land bridge before we head back down on the chairlift. And check this view out. All right guys, that's about it for this video. Peace.